Hi! Today's video is about OnStyle's proprietary internal link tool. To understand why we need such tools in the first place, we need to look at Word's built-in solution. Hyperlink is a general solution that can link to anywhere, even outside the document. In the document, it can be used to link to Word's built-in heading styles only, and bookmarks which you have to create manually. Most importantly, the window is fixed in many ways, so it cannot be docked, resized, and you can't switch between the document and the window to change the link position. Moreover, there is no direct connection between the displayed text and the address target, so the text is easy to forget to update. While cross-reference is a more reliable word-specific method, it is not perfect. It can link to any document part, however it requires additional formatting to prevent style mismatch. Additionally, any target marked with bookmarks can be addressed, but their manual creation requires extra effort. After recognizing the most problematic linking problems, we reimagined the internal link creation process and designed our tool to provide a better user experience. The internal link tool's user interface provides easy navigation. This tool is fully configurable, so multiple tabs can be defined for different linking targets, such as tables, figures, references, headings, and many more. You can create multiple links without closing the dialog, and it can be docked to the Word window. Direct formatting settings, such as bold, italic, or coloring, are applied automatically after the link creation. Let's see it in action. Suppose we would like to create a correct link to table two. In this case, we have to navigate to the tables tab and select the requested table. For the display text, we can choose from numbering only, text only, or numbering and text together. You can see a proposed result next to cross-reference text. As of now, we should make a link containing only the numbering. Let's click the Create Cross-Reference button on the bottom. Now we need another link to figure one. But now, let's show the text part of the title. We can also double-click to create our link. After link creation, we can continue the writing without extra clicking. Should we need to create a correct link to headings, we could select the headings tabs and select among the possibilities, numbering only, text only, or page number. As you can see for numbering only or page number options, a pre-filled text field contains the prefix of the cross-reference that will be created. As we insert a numbering only link, you can see that the format of the prefix text is different than the reference itself. And now we only need another link with page number. And finally, let's see the creation of Harvard style citations. Once we have a properly formatted reference section in our document, OnStyle can recognize and process it. So in the internal link tool, you can see its content under the reference tab. In-text citations are always created by using hyperlinks because the displayed text differs from the target text or the bookmark name that would be used by cross-references. In this tool, we only have to select the given reference entry and click on Create Hyperlink button, or double-click it. If we change something in the heading structure, or modify any possible target, we have to only click on the Refresh destination and continue the linking process.